One thing that we're struggling on is he just wants to bite my clothes. We got his play pen all set up. Yay! You are a hungry puffer, aren't you? Lay down. Good boy! He's so precious, oh my goodness. Hi guys, it's Jordan, and today I wanted to take you guys along with me in one of the very first 24 hours with a brand new puppy. Oh, he's eating the mic. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys, oh, you've got so much energy. Hello, baby. Hello! Oh my gosh, he gives you kisses. What do you think? I wanted to show you guys what it's like in one of the very first 24 hours with this brand new puppy. So this is Atlas. He's a mini Australian Shepherd puppy. He's got a lot of energy right now. He's trying to bite my hair. Hey, let go. So, back to the video. He's kind of calming down now. He's eating his other toys. I wanted to take you guys with me along for a full 24 hours with a puppy in case any of you guys want to know what it's like to have a puppy and also just for my memories because I want to see what it's like. You're eating my shirt. Let go. Ew, dude. No, don't eat the camera. Stop. Dude, come get your toys. Come get your toys. It is currently 5.50 and he just barely woke up and usually at around 6 o'clock he's done. Like he does not want to sleep in his crate anymore and he just wants to play. Like he's like, give me attention right now. You got your toys? So usually we start a day at around 6 o'clock a.m. because at that point he is just restless and he's done sleeping, he's done being in his crate, and he's ready to like start the day. And you guys know I'm not a morning person. <laughs> I am a night owl and so it's kind of tricky for me to wake up early, but you know, it's all worth it for this puppy because I love him so much. So it's not, not a big deal when it comes down to him. <laughs> but. Anyways, I just woke up, here's his crate and everything, and I'm actually sleeping on an air mattress by his crate because I don't want him to like be lonely or anything or get sad, and I want him to know that I'm like right here because first few nights as a puppy, um, they don't really like being alone in their crate. They still wanna be with like either you or they just they just don't wanna be alone, and so yeah, I'm sleeping right next to him for at least this for these first few days, and then I'll slowly move back to my bed. He's really good at going potty too. He's basically fully potty trained. Like at night, he hasn't had any accidents in his crate. One thing that we're struggling on is he just wants to bite my clothes and my hands. So we're trying to like give him a lot of other options. <laughs> All right, so that's the update for now, but I'm gonna keep playing with him and everything. I'm trying to get him to calm down and see if he'll sleep a little bit more, but <laughs> so far he's awake at six. He's up and, up and energetic. Update time. So it's actually way later in the day. I kind of forgot to vlog for a little bit. It is currently 1.47. So it's kind of lunchtime, but I didn't get up till way later because if you guys know, when you have a puppy, you gotta get up during the night a lot and let them out potty because they cannot hold their bladder for that long. So I have a schedule where I wake up every two hours to let Atlas out because that seemed to work the best and hopefully we can gradually make it longer and longer um, intervals. But right now it's two hours and then you usually have to wait like usually at least 30 minutes for them to calm back down and go to bed. And so I usually don't get a ton of sleep. Normally I don't sleep in this late. I didn't sleep until two, but I just kind of forgot to vlog. But now we have little Atlas. Atlas here, he's sleeping. Oh, I think he just woke up a little bit. He's sleeping on my lap. Um, we just barely actually had my cousins come over and they got to meet Atlas for the very first time. They're the first people outside of my immediate family to meet Atlas because we've tried to keep Atlas just at the house and everything to keep him from getting overwhelmed, just to help him adjust and everything. And so they actually came over today and met him for the very first time and it was really cute. Um, they have a lot of like little kids too and so it was it was so cute. He did super duper good with the little kids. He was like licking their hands and everything and he was adorable. But now he's worn out and he's tired so he's taking a nap. No, he's so tired, he's taking a little nap. He's doing so good. I just like how he plops anywhere when I he's know. tired. When he's tired, he's tired and he's like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> he's so good. Yeah, he's so precious. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he's very fluffy too. We got his play pen all set up. Yay! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is basically what it is. This will just help a lot, especially if I need to go like 
shower or something or get ready for the day, then he can be like contained in this one little area and we can have somebody watching him and that way he can still explore, but he can't get into trouble. <laughs> and he doesn't pee on the carpet. Yeah, and so he can't pee on the carpet or he, he can't, can't like- sneak upstairs. Yeah, or he can't like, there's no chance of him falling down the stairs or anything like that. We're in the car now and we are actually about to go to the grandparents' house, so it's later in the day. Um, my makeup's done. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and we've given him some time to adapt and everything, and so I think it's time for him to go meet the grandparents as well, because he did really good with our cousins, and our grandparents really want to see him. So we're going to go take him to the grandparents' house. Logan, are you excited to go see Nan and Grandpa? Yeah. He's ready to meet the grandparents. He's tired right now. <laughs> He's tired. You need to stay awake so you sleep tonight. Yeah, I know. Yesterday. He slept a lot during the day, which puppies sleep a lot, but once it gets towards nighttime, he needs to start. I think it was about five o'clock and he was like, I'm out for the night. And he and literally like, slept all the way till we put him to bed, but I'm like, then he's gonna be awake super early. So yeah. we're gonna try and change his schedule a little bit and keep him awake for a tiny bit longer. Hi, Grandpa. Oh, what's his puppy's name? Atlas. Atlas? Mm -hmm. Hi, Atlas. Oh. Hi, oh, you're a sweetie. Hi, Nana. Oh, he is little. He's teeny. Yes, he is. He's My very goodness. Fluffy. Yeah. fluffy, fluffy. Get him! Get his socks! <laughs> I think Logan taught him how to take off socks because. So does, does, because he, does he sleep at all at night? Yeah, he does. He does pretty good. Last night he didn't have any problems. He but got my socks! The first two nights he whimpered a bit. But no, I think Logan taught him to take off socks because Logan, when he gets super playful and he can't find a toy, he'll do that. And now Atlas is doing that too. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't know whether to stop him or let him keep going. I don't know. Uh, ah, just a bit. Needle tea. Okay, it is dinner time and Atlas is so hungry. We are trying some canned dog food because Atlas loves canned dog food. He's been snacking on his kibble all day long, but we're gonna have canned dog food for dinner for both doggies, and he's so excited. Okay, are you ready? I don't know what flavor his is, but it's Logan's is formula. turkey and sweet Give potato, it. but yeah, what does that mean though? I have no idea. Oh, there he is, he's so excited, oh my gosh. I've never seen him eat like You are a hungry puffer, aren't you? Oh, she's a little defensive, he's growling a little. Dude, it's okay, we're not gonna take your food. He's, he's so out. excited. <laughs> So excited. Oh, <laughs> he's like, get away. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no, no, hey, no, no, be nice. You know, when he was with these brothers and sisters, he probably had to fight for food. So. Probably, he's so excited. Oh my gosh. He's gulping it down. Here, I'll sit over here. It's <laughs> okay. Well, Logan's just licking his. I know, Logan's yeah. chill way over here. He's just like, eh. Oh goodness. Like That's so weird. I Logan never... ate the treat on top. Aww. That's so weird. I've never heard Atlas like growl over his food or anything or his toys. That's first time. All right, you guys. So we watched a movie and everything, and now it is like what 10:30? You'd say? I think it's 10:30. Yeah, 10:30. We're getting ready for bed, and Atlas has been sleeping a lot. He slept the entire movie. But before we get ready for bed, I wanted to show you guys his little trick that he knows so far. So we've only had him for like literally like. Two days, but two days three. I've already been yeah. I've already been working on his tricks. He's so excited to get smell the treats and everything. And I wanted to show you the first trick he's learned. So I've only taught him lay down so far, and he's still kind of working on it, but he's doing pretty good. All right, Atlas, ready? Lay down. Hey, lay down. Good boy. Good boy. Lay down. Good boy. He's like good what? Boy. Oh, you're so good. Now, do you want to try Ty? He gets so excited for the treats. Lay down. Lay down. <gasps> Good boy. Good boy. He doesn't do it without treats yet, but he's learning. He's Wait, pretty, lay down. He's lay pretty down. quick at learning. <gasps> Good boy. No treats. <laughs> All right. We got to get him to start getting tired so we can go to bed. All righty. It is bedtime now. Atlas, is it bedtime? Are you drinking your water? You're gonna need to go potty before we go to bed. So, for our bedtime routine, as you can see here, I have an air mattress that is blown up um, sitting next to his crate because for these first few days, I just wanna sleep right next to him so that way 
he doesn't ever feel lonely or scared. He knows that I'm right there and he can like smell me and everything. Then here's his crate. His crate is kind of too big for him right now because he's still just a little puppy. And so we have, oh, it jumped down, it jumped down. So we have a divider in there that we just used um, a lid on a tote and it worked really well. Um, and then we put blankets on top of it to kind of block out any light and make it nice and cozy because dogs are den animals and so they really like um, to have their, their little space that they can curl up in. And then um, I have this shirt here that has my scent on it so that way he can like smell me because it, it helps like when he wakes up in the night and is trying to figure out like what's going on. We have some old towels that we don't mind if it gets dirty, and we've got this, which is his little stuffed animal. And inside the stuffed animal, there's actually a little pocket where there's this little heart, and it, it makes a heartbeat. I don't know if you can hear it. It makes a little heartbeat. Oh, what'd you get, Atlas? Let go. And you can put it inside, and so then he thinks it's like his brother or one of his litter mates. Oh, he's trying to, he's trying to show him, no, that's your brother, let go! And it's, he like just snuggles up to this at night, but right now he thinks it's a toy, because right now he's trying to play. <laughs> so that is basically our night. <laughs> what do you think? He's got energy right now, he needs to play before he goes to bed, because he needs to get rid of some of this energy. Oh my gosh, oh, he's eating the camera, let go! Let go, hey, let go! Um, anyways, we're gonna play, I'm gonna play with him a little bit before I go to bed and everything to um, get out some of his energy so he's tired again. <laughs> and then our nightly schedule is I take him out every two hours, um, but tonight I'm gonna try two hours and 30 minutes to go potty because he's got a puppy bladder and he can't really hold it for that long. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's basically our nighttime routine. Also, pro tip, if you are wondering how to help your dog stop crying in its crate um, at night. For Atlas here, we've ha okay, we had a little bit of different experience because with Logan, if we just stuck our hand by his crate, he was perfectly fine as long as he could smell us. But for Atlas, I'll literally be right next to him and I'll have my hand inside his crate like petting him and he still is like sad. And so I figured out just the other night that he's perfectly okay and doesn't cry whatsoever if he falls asleep in my arms first and then goes in the crate, but he has to first fall asleep in my arms. <laughs> Cause really he's just crying because he wants to be with me, which is so sweet. But at the same time, I want to teach him that it's okay to sleep in the crate and everything. Puppies are a lot of work. You don't get a lot of sleep, but they're so worth it. That's the moral of the entire video. Moral of the story. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!